a little light might be a little knowledge about what's happening in the economy. A little light may be getting to the bottom of those things that you're being told that you don't know that are really true. Sometimes it's internal. You have to look at your organization and say, I need to start shedding light. I need to bring a light into this darkness and say, what's really happening in my business? What's really happening in the marketplace? How do you do that? You embrace knowledge. I just got out of a session called Fire, Fuel, and Focus, Applying the Elements of Entrepreneurial Thinking to Your Business. Um, and Jerry Ross was the speaker. He's the executive director of the Disney Entrepreneur Center. And he's a serial entrepreneur who's opened many businesses. And I just want to say that his session was very energizing and invigorating for myself in particular because I guess I own my own business. Jerry talked about um, for entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurial mindset that you need the fire which is the passion and the, the energy and the drive, the desire to get something done. The fuel, which is actually the tools, the resources, the cash, whatever it is that you need to actually make that happen. And then also focus that you need in order to get something done, to really home in on exactly what you're trying to accomplish, that it's not just about producing activity, but it's about getting to accomplishment. So it was a great session. I really enjoyed it. Today's session on reputation management um, was really good. He shared a, a formula for reputation that he has, which is performance plus behavior plus communication times the authenticity factor adds up to your reputation. The authenticity factor could also be called your um, integrity factor, how closely you stick to your core values and how that's communicated to your audience, how they interpret that. Um, that was a really clear way for me to understand what your rep reputation is. And uh, we also had some discussion about the difference between your reputation and your brand, which sometimes they get confused. Um, what we came to a collective conclusion was that your brand is how you want people to perceive you. Um, your reputation is how your community perceives you. So their understanding or their belief of what your company stands for. I thought those were both um, very clear descriptions.